Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to our new European Resource Force series, where we're gonna be playing as the Papal State and trying to reach the achievement uh, called Blackjack and maybe get some hookers as well for those of you who are familiar with Futurama series. So, in fact, I should say that it is actually my second run, but you're not gonna be able to see the first one because I've been, I've like recorded uh, about 10 episodes in a row and failed in the end <laughs> and there's no point in me really uploading them just it was unfortunately a waste of time but so it was kind of fun and yeah why I'm playing as a papal state and not like Castile Portugal because Castile and Portugal are kind of boring and it's gonna to be too easy for them to go colon uh, colonization and for the papal state it's not gonna be as easy it might be even be like impossible or at least really hard to do but that's the fun in it, so let's just go and jump right in. We're gonna be playing, of course, on Iron Man mod. Iron Man mod. And yeah, achievements could be earned. That's great. And yeah, Papal Hookers already. There's already a save. I've played until like year year 80. But then I've declared a stupid war. Uh, what I didn't notice is that Austria, actually. The freaking Emperor gets an alwe or always gets called in as a co-belligerent, which is a bullshit. And yeah, he, he wrecked me, and I like rage quitted. But now I will try to use uh, a different tactic. I, you, you don't know what kind of tactic I use, but um, what I'm gonna be trying to do, I need to attack Aragon to try uh, to be able to try like Balearis or Sardinia to be able to attack these African countries. If it's not gonna happen, I could attack Provence, but Provence most of the times gets an allied to France, and France always wants to uh, to make him a, into a vassal or quite frequently. And if both of these things are gonna happen, I would probably just need to attack like Venice or someone, even though I don't need to ex expand East, but at least attacking Venice and taking some land from him gonna make me a little bit stronger and I may be gonna be able to do something. So, before we even gonna unpause the game, I'm gonna start like improving relations with Castile, because rivalries are getting a set like immediately. So, Castile is rivaled with Aragon, England and France. So, he's gonna be a nice helper against Aragon. France is a uh, rival to Castile, Burgundy and England. So, probably the most likely alliance for me gonna be Castile. But it would also not be awful to have France. It would be even better to have them both, but I don't know what's gonna happen, so... We're gonna be improving with Castile and France also. Uh, right at the start uh, of the game, we're the Curia controller, so we're receiving some bonuses from that, which is quite nice. But we're not really gonna be able to keep it forever unfortunately also boats we need to get our light ships to go and protect trade in like uh geno trade note i think a yeah, geno is our main trade port so we already taken money from here and our traders or our merchants in venice in and in here i don't think i'm gonna be messing with them too much because it's not gonna make much difference also we need to set our rivals our first and most obvious rival gonna be Aragon, even though he's more powerful than we are right now, but I really want to attack him. The second one probably just gonna be Provence, because he's so weak it's gonna be just terrible not to take him as a rival. And could we rival- oh, we couldn't rival Venice right away, that's interesting. Hmm, interesting and unfortunate. Okay, Provence and the third one. Savoy, Milan, Hungary, Genoa, France, Florence, for none of them look appealing. The, ma uh, the major problem <laughs> to play uh, to be playing as Pope in here is that all of our neighbors, except Venice and these guys, uh, are part of the Empire. And if I were to attack any of them, I would need to fight with Austria. And Austria, at the start of the game, is the most powerful guy in the whole universe. Uh, actually, no, Timurids are a little bit more powerful than he currently, but it's not gonna last for too long. Uh, so yeah, <clears throat> we need to find ways to attack someone else. And what happened in my previous runs is that Aragon all the time allies Austria. And if I want to attack Aragon, I would need to fight with Austria. And it's a such a pain in the butt, you couldn't even imagine. That's why I want to try to get friends. And I really hope that you're not gonna ally Austria, but you probably would. So, rival set. Uh, this thing set. Uh, diplomats. Who else I need to improve with? Oh, hun who actually rivaled us? I need to know. Enemies. Hungary, Provence and Genoa. Okay. That's fine. It would be... 
quite nice to have like Hungary to be able to take Venice. Uh, Venice is actually friendly to me. If I were to ally Venice, then I would not have anyone to attack. But yeah, let's go on and pause and see what people gonna do. Portugal announced me as a rival. Why? Okay. Aragon. Are you picking any alliances? Not yet. Oh, you, you're focused on vassalizing... Aragon rivaled Austria. Okay. This is golden. Austria, you need to be my friend. Okay, this is this should should be the, my golden run. Austria and Castile. If I'm gonna pick up them both as allies and cause them into the war against Aragon, I would be set and ready to go. Let's go and start fabricating a claim on you immediately. Because as soon as soon as I'm gonna be able to reach this place to start colonizing, the better it would be because Portugal gonna beat me on that and, and I wouldn't really like it. So, who's gonna be our third rival then? Hmm. Should we just rival back Genoa? Genoa is a part of the empire, so it's not, like, not even reasonable. But just for the sake of power projection, I guess. I could rival back Portugal. What about Castile? You're not allied with Portugal yet. You're not allied with anyone quite yet. Okay, this is really great that you rivaled each other. Uh, do you want any of his lands? What's the point of this rivalry? You don't want any of his lands, so it would be quite, quite hard to call you into the war against him. If we were to get some uh, some favors, it, it might be possible. You want to incorporate Urbino? Yeah, by the way, we have Urbino as a vassal, but to incorporate him, we would need... Uh, to wait like 10 years from now on. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna rival back Genoa. There's no other rivals for me available. And also... Or no other rivals who are really decent. And let's go and start embargoing everyone. Actually, we have no real available diplomats. I think we now could go to speed 4. Not really doing much. Also, we could get advisors. The most important one's probably gonna be admin, because uh, I want to get to my idea group as soon as possible. Prestige, tax, national unrest. I think I'm gonna go for tax. So should I take Diplo or military advisor? Not even sure. Mm. Do you have like... You do have Diplo rep. Okay, let's go and take a Diplo rep guy. It would be extremely useful for our alliances. Oh, we're actually still in positive income. No, never mind. Not anymore. If I were to take this, the third... The third uh, guy, the third advisor, it would be quite hard for me to, to get enough money or to get into positive income. Okay, so Castile is already at minus 9, Austria is at minus... how much? Minus 29, but now that we have common rivals, I think we're gonna be fine. Let's go and maintain our relations per, uh, manually. Set you to friendly, Austria to friendly, friends. Are you alien this guy? You're not alien Provence. Which is also quite uncommon. <laughs> Maybe this run is actually the gods of RNG decided to be on my side. If France would not run, uh, LA Provence, I would have a chance to attack him. And pretty easily take uh, quite a few provinces from him. So we'll see. And also this one province is the uh, estuary, so uh, some extra trade power would not be a terrible thing to have. Okay, I hope you guys are gonna uh, go and change to... What? And immediately Austria is not an emperor anymore. What the hell? And you immediately formed a union with Hungary. <laughs> and you're fighting with Aragon already. What the hell? Okay. This is fucking crazy. Okay, that's interesting. If you... So, uh, let me see. Defender against Aragon in Austrian succession war. Why against Aragon? Is it fight between Aragon and Austria for Hungary? At war with Aragon in Naples. This is actually gonna be a decent opportunity for me to take Aragon if I were to uh, Ellie Castile right now. And we're only at minus four. Military access from Hungary. You're rivaling me, you know? And now you want access. 
Yeah, I think I, I am gonna actually give access to everyone. I should let these guys fight and lose their armies. I think Austria is actually capable of beating uh, Naples and whatever this other guy, Aragon, on his own. Not with Hungary as well, but we'll see. I'm not entirely sure. But that's interesting. Definitely might be an awesome possibility for me. Also, I need to do some embargoes, as I said. Maybe if this shit going down in here, I might not even ally Austria and instead go and ally... Oh, excuse me? Austria is a lesser partner in... Whoa! Okay. So Hungary actually took over Austria and not the other way. Wow, that's cool. So, are they both now... Oh, so it's now Aragon Naples against Hungary Austria. Aragon Naples gonna get wrecked. And that's gonna be perfect for me. Yeah, that's never happened before. Hungary freaking took over Austria. Not the other way. Okay, I'm sure. Minus two reasons for alliance with Castile. Hopefully we're gonna be able to take it like next month or... Yeah, the other, the one month after that. Also, what we need to be doing is building up our army. We have two cavalry. I think I'm just gonna be building up infantry for now. And there's Austrian army. So they're gonna go and kill Naples. I'm already fabricating claim in here. Let's go and start fabricating on Napoli as well, by the way. Because if we were to go at war with this guy, with Aragon, we might as well take some provinces from Naples, because why not? Let's fabricate on Napoli. So, are you ready for the alliance? You are, but I don't have any diplomats. Let's go and take one from France. And alliance with you. So, you should be willing to join this war with, like, promise of land immediately. Even though I have no favors for you. Yes, you would. Oh, he's gonna be protected by Portugal. Hmm. Is Portugal at, war at this war as well now? No. Oh, that's interesting. Why it's not? Why not? I don't know. But yeah, there is an Aragonian army. They're gonna just get wrecked by Austria. And Castile, I think, should be able to handle Portugal. What about France? Who else? France, do you want any land from Aragon? You do. You do want Balleris. As well as I do. Uh, actually, talking about my preferences. I want to set these two places as my interest. And... Like, even these things. It's also Aragonian. I know I couldn't fabricate claims on that, but... Still pretty awesome. Pretty awesome to have if possible. Okay. So, friends, how's alliance with you looking? Minus 84. Oh, because you're... Yeah, Castile is your rival. That sucks. Any other rivals you have? Venice rivaled you. Okay, Venice, I guess. Time for me to pick up, pick up an alliance with you. Do you want any land from him? You don't as well. How am I gonna be... Oh, you want lands from Naples. Okay, let's go and pick up an alliance with Venice. Venice is also quite powerful. Mm, and looks like France is not really gonna be a possibility for us to take. So let's go and improve relations with Venice some more. Actually, no, let's go and check out what's Venice thinking about the war with Aragon. They're not willing to do this, and if I were to declare on Naples, Venice would join and this guy would not. Oh, that's not quite optimal, to be honest. But Castile is already great. And I have transports to be able to land my troops on, like, Cesare and Cagliari and just let uh, Castile deal with, uh, with Portugal. And there's the Aragonian army getting killed. Great. The problem might be the fleet, actually. Hmm. You guys actually need to be, like, set to go home at war. Should I just declare war on him as soon as I'm gonna receive a claim? Because I don't think I'm gonna receive this opportunity again. And I'd better use it, like, as a ASAP. <laughs> this is definitely a lot better run than I had before, because in the previous one, I had to see it for, like, five episodes just skipping time, because nothing... Nothing important happened. Let's go and build two extra infantry to get up to our force limit. 
And let's go and send a diploma to improve relations with Venice, just in case. We're about to finish our first claim. Okay, great. Let's go and get claim started on Cagliari. And let's go and get the diplomat from you and see how the war gonna be looking. Let's go and first of all look at the armies. How much armies are gonna have left? Let's look at the more by country. Aragon. 18,000, 8,000 manpower. Uh, that's decent. What about Naples? Mm, Naples. 3,000, yeah, your army is crushed, but you still have some manpower. And Portugal? Portugal have 14. So Castile could beat Portugal alone. All the Argonian army is supposed to be around here, and they are going to get crushed by Austria and Hungary. And I could just piggyback... Uh, Austria... Mm -hmm. And Venice wouldn't be willing to join, unfortunately. If they... Uh, or if Venice were to join, it would be just... Perfect. But unfortunately, he don't want to, and I don't, I don't want to wait for the favors. Oh, we're gonna have Genoa in here as well. Which might be slightly problematic. Mm, slightly. What about Genoan, uh, Genoan army? I'm uh, surprised that the only one... Right now at war with Austria is Aragon himself. None of his allies joined this this one. It's kind of strange. Uh, so, what I wanted to check, yeah, Army of Genoa. How is it looking? Genoa, 11,000. Not too terrible. So if I were to siege down Wargol right away, I'm gonna be able to go and start, like, engaging into battles. The, my main problem might be the fleets. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do anything with that. Because Genoa and all of these guys have quite a few fleets. Mm. Who else could I pick up as an ally in here to be able to call into the war against Argon right away? Mm, probably no one, really. I do have slots. I do have one available slot. Yeah. Also, I shouldn't forget that I have Vassal with freaking troops. That's not that great. Let's go and wait a little bit more. So we're getting our claim on Napoli. Should we just wait for this claim to finish and start another one and then declare a war? Okay, there's 14,000 of Argonian army going somewhere up top here. Castile still not at war. And they actually didn't took the mission to finish the Reconquista, so maybe Granada uh, gonna survive for some more time. So, how's the war score looking? We're gonna be probably fighting to get quite a lot of war score. Minus 7. So yeah, the war's still gonna be going for quite a long time. I uh, I have enough time... Oh! Castile declared a war... What the fuck is going on? Succession wars all over the place. Navarre became less a partner in personal than other friends, and Castile... Oh, you're gonna be fighting for one province minor. And now Castile... Not gonna help me with Aragon. Castile, come on! Come on! Should I then be declaring on Naples and call in Venice and and take like uh, the province from Aragon? Aragon during that, I think that's gonna be my plan then. If Castile now gonna be fighting France, what's the point, Castile? You're such an idiot. So I just have to finish this claim then now and start one on Abruzzi. I think I should be able to take provinces from Aragon by taking Naples. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Okay, thanks for the Napoli. National unrest minus one, that's great. And let's go and start fabrication on Abruzzi. And should I declare right now? Mm, Aragon, how are your armies looking again? Have you got crushed in any battles? Aragon, 17,000, 6,800 manpower, so not that much manpower at all. Castile, that, is, that was a stupid idea for you to join the succession war. You're gonna get crushed. You're at war with Castile, and Castile at war with France, Navarra, Savoy, and Montferrat. Yeah, 
totally reasonable for one promise miner, yeah sure, but actually it's always time for me to have a break guys, so, even though no war happened in this episode, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna declare in the next one, because I couldn't lose such a golden opportunity, so, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like, if you want to see more, you could subscribe, and if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it, and I would answer you as soon as I could, see you later guys, bye bye!